Hello guys and welcome to this video and today, sorry I just want to say sorry about the audio I, I'm not going to be changing it because I don't have much time to record this in But basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to become noob to good at Unturned basically So here we go Right so hi guys, in this video um, I'm being you this could be you probably not if you're a noob but yeah so um i'm gonna be going into a server just any old server you know find a server that you want to play on it doesn't matter what server it is and yeah basically you're gonna start off with nothing if you've never played unturned before this video is kind of for you guys and like just anyone who wants to plan on getting better so you're gonna start off with nothing yeah you've got nothing Basically, first thing you want to find is a gun, and this is depends on where you spawn. As you can see, the map is a bit zoomed in, so you got to zoom it out, find out where you are, and yeah. So then you're gonna wanna come and find some of these. You're just gonna wanna find yourself a gun or a weapon or a bag, like anything you can really use for a weapon. You're gonna try and take. So, yeah, so, you know, I just found some bottoms and some bullets, and a pitchfork, and as I walked in, I saw a dead zombie here, so it tells me there's someone around here, so now we've got to be careful, you know, because there could be someone around here. And if you're a noob, you probably don't want to fight against people. Because you probably will die. So once you get yourself some clothes, you know, you've got some clothes, I would suggest going for the jumper. If you find one of them and whatever you, you know you get. And basically, you're going to look for a gun or something. So, you know... You probably get hit if you. This is your first time playing on You're probably gonna get hit by a few zombies. You can take the sweater if you want. I really don't like wearing sweaters. I just don't really like them. And if you're like a pencil what server you want, I would take the planters. And, and there is someone around here. The crossbow. We're gonna go for him. We're going to see what we can do to him. So I'm going to lay down here. No. Just run at him. It doesn't matter if he's friendly or not. We're going to try and get that crossbow. Because we want it more than him. If you've got a mic, you can talk to him, but I don't really feel like talking to him. I'm sorry it's a bit laggy as well. Um, now, basically, we've got a lot of cool stuff, you know, now. We've got ourselves a crossbow with no ammo. <laughs> Great. Um, but... Yeah, you uh, gradually work out what's the better things in the game to take. Uh, this guy didn't have an arrow. I believe he probably shot it at a zombie. Or at me, possibly. I don't know. If he didn't have an arrow, or he was probably a noob as well. I say as well because, you know, I saw the zombie was dead here. So he's probably shot an arrow at the zombie. Or not. Okay, and now this part is really up to you guys what you want to do next. I don't like wearing hats, but some of you guys might, so I'm going to put that back on. And, right, what you're going to do is depends what items you have, like weapons and stuff. You can, you know, you want to find some ammo for them, the weapons, you know. So, what better place to go to another farm? But as I said before, it really does depend where you spawn in an unturned. If it's your first time, you won't know the map. Uh, unlucky for like you guys, I like, like I play unturned quite a lot, you know, because I do YouTube videos of it. So 
I am pretty know the map pretty well. Um, and a little tip: I always like check my inventory like a lot and just like scrap a few things that I don't need in there, just anywhere. And a little tip for you guys: these are good. Make sure you grab the pink ones if you find them. I know you're thinking why the pink berries. They are really good if you've got bad radiation, and radiation is the green s s one, like the green thingy in the square oil. Try and like put a little circle around it so you guys know what one I'm talking about. And then you've got your your like the food is then water, your health, and your stamina. If your stamina is run out, you're not going to be able to sprint. So keep an eye on that. And like, you should make sure that that doesn't go down too much. If it does go down too much, it doesn't matter because you know you can just wait for it to re like or gen, I guess, reload, whatever you guys want to call it. But once it's fully came back up, you know it doesn't take that long. Um, we found ourselves an arrow for a gun or a bow, and now we're gonna find out where you are. So we're here. We could go over here. To this island and hopefully grab a gun because I know there's guns over there. You, if you're not too new with unturned, you're probably not gonna know if there's a gun there or not. If no one's went there before, then there is probably gonna be some good loot here because this is a good place. And for killing zombies, you get these experience points. You can spend these on stuff and you can like make your sp like more faster in running and like keep your stamina more. Like, it's really cool, you know, you get achievement if you get all of them. So, um, right, so we're gonna try and find out, like, like find some stuff we're gonna need to use. Or just the general stuff we're gonna need. So, I've got a crossbow, which is probably not gonna be the greatest, like, like, thing, like, weapon of choice, I guess. Like, I mean, I like the crossbow, but, you know... A gun would probably be a lot better than this. You can also go in third person if you want to see, like, I personally like first person because I don't know, like, I don't really like, like, playing like this, but sometimes I've been playing like this a lot more, and I'm getting into liking it, but just for the shooting and stuff, I would recommend you stay in first person because you've got the better shot and stuff like that. And as we're here, I'm walking up and I see this. It looks like someone's probably built a base here. But as it's like all, like there's walls missing, that means it's an old base. That means like whoever that had that base isn't really too much, like doesn't really care too much about that base. So it just tells me that there's no one at that base. But don't listen to me. I could be getting you killed here. There is probably someone around here. You know, if you're not sure, stand still. And if you hear walking, then, you know, that's someone else. And I say the crossbow is a good little starter weapon because, you know, with this you can, like, shoot people as much as you want, I guess. I'm going to put the farm clothes on because they're a little more darker, greenish. Got a scope here, it's quite cool. I'm gonna put that on my crossbow by holding T. And now I've got scopes, so now I can like, hit the shots from a lot farther out with my crossbow. So that is quite cool. I like this scope as well, and this light is running. So that means there is a generator around here somewhere, which is working. There is a katana down there. So we're gonna go ahead and take that katana because oh, it's zero percent. As well as our arrow is zero percent, so our arrow is probably gonna break. So as you guys just saw, our arrow is gone. Our arrow has just broken. Um, but. You know, at the end of the day, we've got a katana. And if you don't know what the katana is, you one will not be gold. Yours will be a normal colour. I've brought a uh, gold for unturned, so 
Mine will be gold because, you know, that's the camo I've got. And we found ourselves a gun. Right, guns are really important in Unturned if you, if you know you're a noob at the game. I don't really want to say noob, but yes, I guess we're going to end up saying it. But, you know, like, if you don't have a gun, you're probably not going to do much in the game because if you've just joined in, you know, to the game, people are going to have a gun. You're not going to have that much stuff. I'm going to put this on there for now because it's probably the be a better scope than the, this sniper one. Like, if you're, like, long range, you can probably use this, but I'm just going to use this for now. Or the scope what came with the gun. This one, this didn't come with the gun, I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, now we've got ourselves a gun. We, you, I guess you can say we've ranked up in the server now. Like, not li like literally ranked up, but, you know, got a bit more powerful, if that makes sense. Like, now we've got a gun. Like, if you've never played Unturned, I would suggest, you know, just going into, a, like, a normal lobby and just practicing shooting with guns. I'll put a few good guns, I think, are good in the description. And if you don't know how to grab a, get yourself a gun just by spawning it in, you can't spawn guns in on online. But, you can do it in single player, so I'll leave a few, like, like I'll leave a link to my video showing you guys how you can spawn in stuff. And just showing you how... The good IDs for the weapons and stuff. I'll just leave a few of the best weapons I think are good. I will leave this one in the like in there. A few, maybe a few attachments, or I'll just leave a link to a website you guys can check out for your attachments. Because I'm not going to be putting them, but yeah, basically we started off with nothing, and now we've got a load of cool stuff. So yeah. I'm going to be showing you guys a few plays I killed now, so yeah. Alright, so guys, I've spotted a target over there, running to down to the farm. It looks like he's got nothing, so I'm going to probably easily take him if I've got better loot than him and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to... I've looked where he's gone, he's probably ran into the barn, so he's probably going to come out somewhere around there. But I also want to keep my eye on the cars and roads and stuff. So, yeah, let's just hope that I get this guy. Because it's close range, I'm going to switch out to my, you know, better scope for close range. And, yeah, we're going to basically try and get him. Uh, so, he has came in here somewhere. I'm not sure where he's gone, though. Okay. It turns out he's over there with a gun, I believe. Or whatever. He's got, I'm not sure what he's got. Um, so he has got a bow. So I'm going to just take a few shots at him. And yeah, we've got him. That was really bad shooting on my half there. I panicked a little bit and he basically shot one shot at me. I'm going to loot him. And uh, yeah. Right, so guys, I've kind of not found anyone, but I just forgot to say is, um, when you're coming up on a city like this, if you've got a scope or just, you know, anything you can see in binoculars, whatever you guys call them, some people, I believe in America, they're called binos, um, but that's just my idea of what they're called. So, you're going to have to, like, have a good look of what is around you. If you've not got much stuff on you, then, you know, you can just run in there and loot, but if you like, kind of like me, you've got a good amount of stuff. You know, you're going to want to be careful because this gun is really quite rare. You know, just luckily we found it, you know, we found some ammo for it. So, we're doing alright at the moment. But, when you're coming up on a town like this, it's really, if you want to kill people, head over to the military base through Alberton. Alberton is the town we're up now. We're up against, I like to say, because you know, there's probably at least two, three guys around this area. Because on the server, it is a, quite a full server, it's a 10 man server, 10 people server, I should say. So, you know, them 10 people or nine in the case of the server could be anywhere. And something else, you've really got to watch out of your food and your water, that will start running out if you haven't had anything to eat or drink. So, I would suggest finding yourself a canteen, what can be located at a canteen.
campsites. So, yeah. I'm just going to look for people now and, yeah. So, it doesn't really look like there's too many people in the town. Um, but there could be someone sniping the town as well. So, a good idea is if you are sniping with a sniper, like, sit up on a hill somewhere, like, is probably the best place. The hill I'm on right now is a hill everybody probably knows about in on turn but if you're a noob you won't know this if you snipe in never sit out in the open that's the worst thing you can do make sure you grab some cover behind a tree or something like that i don't know when it gets quite dark it will get quite dark and sometimes you get red zombies i call them red zombies but it's basically where the zombies turn red eyed and there will be a little picture pop up on your screen down there with the left of your corner left bottom corner it should pop up and basically the zombies are really hard to kill i really struggle against them type of zombies um and yeah um head to where you think people would be like military stuff is probably where most people will be in the game you know if you don't have anything as I said before, military is the best place to go to get stuff. But as I showed you in this video, in this video we've got a guy. Here yeah, we've got right. So we found a guy. So I'm gonna back off. Right, so I'm gonna back off and put my scope back on and try and snipe this guy. see here we're messing up quite a few shots but we got him guys because i don't know that was bad shooting from him i don't know how he didn't kill me but yeah we've basically found his stuff has some decent stuff on him you know really good stuff okay, and now we're going to switch up our loot his loot basically i don't know how this guy's managed to get all this gear guys so we're at the military base right now um, we're just going to try and get in there, or try and do anything from in there. Because there is probably going to be people here. This is the most, like, best armoured thing in the game. Um, this is the best place you can get stuff in the whole game. So there's definitely going to probably be people around here, like, there. Got ourselves a guy. So, you know. I can see him laying down. I'm going to put this scope on, run in there and see if we can get him. I don't know if we will, but if we do, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. See what we can do with this last guy, see if we can get him. Probably not, I don't know, he didn't look like he had anything. There we go, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did enjoy playing it. So yeah, bye guys.